Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today I am going to be showing you how to assemble the Wen 12 inch model 4214 drill press. So we're going to come over to the manual here and go to step one. Place the column tube one on the base two. Align the column support holes to the base holes. Install a hex head bolt 3 in each column support hole and tighten bolts using the adju uh, adjustable wrench. So, this is what we're going to be doing. So, I'm going to pause the video. No, I don't have to pause the video. Over here, we'll come. There's a bag of four bolts. These are the ones you're going to use. And then you're going to put your stand onto the base. Hold on, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Alright, we are back. Get the holes lined up. Don't worry about the orientation of the shaft yet. There is a hex head screw right there that you remove. And then it allows you to turn the shaft. But get the bolt screwed in for the base first before you do that. So there's four bolts. I'm going to pause the video and once I get them all tightened up, I'll come back and show you how to adjust the shaft. Alright, I'm back. We have the four of those all tightened up. And then we turn this and got it all adjusted. So next, we go to the next step. Table to table support bracket. Place the crank handle 1 onto the shaft 2 of the table bracket so that so the flat of the shaft is under the set screw 3. Tighten the set screw. 2. Thread the table lock handle 4 into the front of the table support bracket. 3. Thread the table support lock handle into the rear of the table support bracket not shown. Position the table 5 in the same direction as the base. Install the table and tighten the table lock handle 4 and support lock handle. Alright, so we're going to go over here. I believe these are the handles they're talking about for the front and the back. And then the side is this crank handle right here and then it has an allen key on the side so what we're going to do is turn it here you want to make sure that the screw faces the flat part of the shaft and then slide it on and then use the allen key provided to tighten it up it's actually the little allen key that they there's two different sizes. Alright, and once you have it all nice and tightened up, test it out. Make sure it works. Alright, next we're going to go to the two handles. Take them out of the bag. And I believe they just thread right in on the front and the back. So I'm going to get them out of the bag and I'm going to pause the video and I will come back. Alright, we have our handles in. And you tighten them, that's how you adjust it. One in the front, one in the back. So next, what we want to do is put the table right here. So here's the table. kind of heavy, so I'm not going to be able to do it one-handed. 
Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back once I get it up on there. Alright, I'm back. We have the top on. So next you want to tighten this up. And then you want to get the base orientated with the front. And tighten up the back one. There we go. Alright, next step. Drill press head to column. Caution, the drill press head is heavy. To avoid injury, two people should lift into position. Carefully lift the drill press head assembly one and position it over the column two. Place the mounting opening three on the drill press head over the top of the column. Make sure the drill press head is seated properly on the column. Align the direction of the drill press head with the direction of the base and the table. Tighten the set screw four using a hex key. So this is what we're going to be doing. So since it's heavy, I am not going to be able to do it one-handed. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once we get it on there. So the set screw they're talking about is, I can't see it, it's on the other side. Or no, here it is right there for the column. Alright, I'm going to pause the video and I will be back. Alright, we are back. We have the drill press on top of the column. The two set screws you want to tighten are right here on the side. You don't need to get them super tight right now because after you get everything on and put together you're going to want to align everything. So that's that step. So next, what do we do? All right, feeder handles. Insert the three speed handles, one, into the threaded openings on the feed tube, two. Manually tighten the handles into the openings. All right, so we'll come over here. Our bag of handles, we have four of them. We want the ones that are all the same length. So there's one little one and three big ones. We want the big ones. And we will be installing them like that. So you come over here. And this is where you screw them in. Alright, next step. Speed handle. Insert the speed handle one into the threaded opening on the speed hub. Manually tighten handle into opening. So this is the little handle. You're going to want to go to the other side here. And it, screw it in. There you go. Now you have your speed handle. Next. What else do we have here? Alright, I'm going to pause the video and I will come back. Alright. Back. Next step is to install the chuck. Inspect 
and clean the taper hole in the chuck. One, and spindle. Two, remove all grease coatings and particles from the chuck and spindle. Open the chuck jaws by manually turning the chuck barrel clockwise. Make sure the jaws are completely recessed inside the chuck. Insert the chuck arbor into the opening at the top of the chuck. Seat the chuck one and chuck arbor on the spindle by placing a block of wood, five not included, under the chuck and tapping the wood with a hammer. Alternatively, tap the chuck with a rubber mallet. All right, so we're gonna go to that step. So here's the chuck, here's the chuck arbor. So what you wanna do is you make sure it's nice and clean, you don't want any sand on it or anything. And then you slide it into the top part and just kind of push down for now. It'll get seated in when you use the block of wood and tap it in. So what you want to do is slide it up into here and just kind of get it in there by hand at first. Then you're going to take a block of wood and put it on the bottom and hit it with a rubber mallet a few times. So I'm not going to be able to do that one handed. So I'm going to pause the video and come back after we get it all in. Alright, we are back. So the last step, it's not in the book, but I just kind of figured it out because I went ahead and looked at how to adjust. Is you'll have these two parts left over. And what they are for is for the table adjustment extension here. One goes in each side. So, just in case you get to the end and you're wondering like I was, why are there extra parts? And what do they go for? So, after that, that is pretty much it. And it is assembled. When you mount it, you got to use a level. It tells you how to do it in the book. And make sure that the base here is level. Otherwise, when you're doing your drilling and stuff, it'll be all cockeyed. So, I hope this helped you out when you're wanting to put this together. This is the WEN 12-inch drill press. Model number 4212, I believe. So, in the comments below, let me know if it helped you out or if you have any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out.